I, I think that in, in the last couple of years, especially after the financial crisis, we've heard the term uh, deleveraging a lot. Banks are just getting deleveraging, and we have lots of stress tests being done, whether in Europe and the U.S. They just want to see a safer uh, financial and banking system. So, uh, Mr. Kumar, for, for getting this done, I think also we're having in the region over here uh, some implementation of, let's say, Basel III. Uh, I think they want a certain capital ratio for, for, for deposits to loans. And do you think that this is going to slow down the, the financial sector? And how, how is it going to impact the economy in general if we have all these implemented here? I think you know, it's, it's absolutely necessary, and uh, many of the banks uh, across this region are gearing up for Basel II, Basel III uh, implementation in, you know, in full rigor. Uh, coupled with IFRS and in the case of the U.S. institutions, the U.S. GAAP, etc., there's a lot of convergence happening um, in terms of both regulations and reporting, uh, especially for the banks that are listed entities, public companies. So I think that's an inevitable transition towards strengthening the financial system, which would mean that uh, some of the more uh, liberal lending practices that had crept in, which led to the crises, uh, both in this region and globally, will, you know, will fall by the wayside. The banks will be more careful mm -hmm. uh, because risk management, certainly compliance, risk management, are going to be uh, the key uh, focus areas for many of the banks to be able to uh, address the risk-based capital allocation that Basel III and Basel II currently would require them to do. Uh, so that's, that's an inevitable process. Uh, and for good reasons, it is being calibrated by the central banks, by the regulators across. Uh, thank you, panelists. And again, thank you all for joining us in uh, this special event and hope this panel discussion was benefit for all of you. Thank you.